40. Okay. I am now. Number 10 is Suds. Why do we need to know this kind of stuff? I mean, listen to this. Water that contains large amounts of calcium and magnesium. There's one type of water that we are required to know. The other one, water, which contains few minerals. Why would we need to know that? I don't know. But water being more wet. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and how do you make water wetter? How do you honestly make water wetter? By adding more H2O? Oh, no. What, what would happen if we added two more H2O? It would not be wet, it would still be wet. It would be the same amount of wetness. <laughs> and and how do you make it drier? How do you make water dry? Honestly, you leave it out in the sun, then it'll evaporate. Then there would be no water. <laughs> there would be no water at all if you left it out in the sun. I, it would just evaporate, deteriorate. Curd formed when minerals, re minerals react with soap in our water. Yeah, I'm looking at this, and a lot of these have like four letter words. It took me forever to figure out what they're called. You know how many four letter words are in the American language? Countless. Too many to count. How do you make water wetter? Honestly, how do you make water wetter? Yeah. Oh, here's another one. The second letter is O. It's number 19 across. Water which contains few minerals. How am I supposed to figure this out? And extract number eight. Protein chemicals found in nature which help speed up the reactions of other chemicals. For example, to help break down soil for easy removal during washing. So I guess number eight down is extract, even though I know it's blatantly <laughs> not. And then number seven, active chemical ingredients in the most widely used type of bleach. I chose chlorine. So for I guess one? number for number seven. Oh, and you gotta write this down. Yeah, writing it down when I'm not even sure. And then number twenty-one, which was the first one I figured out. All right, very first one. Product applied to laundered items to give them more body or stiffness. Stiffness. <laughs> stiffness. Interesting. Starch. Oh, and do you want to know what else we learned today in school? Where is the man? Where is the man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you? How are you? And then they go bye bye. And then. You know, like a few minutes later, we go, Where is Tall Man? Where is Tall Man? Here I am. Here I am. There is Tall Man. And you know what else? Tall Man below. Up your mail. <laughs> yeah, but how? Come on. I mean, why? How are we supposed to even figure this out? This is independent living, it is not science class. Why science class? Why do you. I mean, water that contains large amounts of calcium and magnesium. Last time I heard those words, I was in a science class. I was in a flippin' science class, and now I have to figure out what the water is called? What is up with that? Yeah. Honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, and apparently it's a four letter word, too. <laughs> four letter words. Here we go again. How many words in the American language do we have of four letters? How many four letter words in the American language do we have? There are no, like, rare three-letter words or five-letter words. I mean, we've got one three-letter word right here. Hot. Hot. I'm telling you right now, this is not hot. This is very cold. This is very disturbing. I really don't know. But honestly, apparently I'm getting a lot of laughs. I should be a stand-up comedian. But why in the world do we need to know what water contains large amounts of calcium and magnesium? Honestly, oh, and what do we call soap bubbles? We call them suds. <laughs> All right, so four letter words in the American language. Where is Tall Man? Where is Tall Man? Here he is, here he is. That's what I think about this thing. That is what I think about this. Five, two, one.